Coach Warner's been pushing me a lot, and uh, I think everyone on the line is playing well, but we can all do better. What's kind of the biggest hump you had to get over personally to become a starter here? Um, well, just the whole position change in general, going from defense to offense. Uh, it was a long transition, but it's good now. It's going a lot better. How about the chemistry on the, of the group? I mean, you guys rolled a few guys in there the other night, especially on the inside guys and stuff. What do you? What's different now than four weeks ago, Daryl? Um, you know, well, we've played a couple games together now. We're feeling more comfortable together, and Coach Warner is just trying to keep everybody engaged. Um, offensive line, it's kind of about getting in a groove, and especially with the center and guards, you got to trust each other. So we're just trying to build trust as much as we can. It looks like. When the other teams, the last two teams have jumped in the bear, you guys have loved it, <laughs> as opposed to the Virginia Tech game stuff. Uh, do you now that y'all have conquered it? I mean, you know, you feel like you've got answers for that. Just how does it just change your perspective or your demeanor up front? Um, it makes us a lot more confident. Uh, after the Virginia Tech game, uh, it obviously didn't go how we wanted it to, and we attacked that. You know, um, mm -hmm. we uh, came out and. Just had, now we have a, a lot of answers for when teams want to do that to us. And when they're playing their normal four down stuff, that's what we've always been really good with. So we just want to have more dimensions to go with. You got over 100 plays in uh, on Saturday. When you guys get going at that tempo like you were doing Saturday, can you feel the opposing defense wearing down? Or just take us, what is, what is that like when you're really going the high speed that I know Coach Herman likes to attack. Yeah, when we really get going and the players are coming in fast, we we can feel the defense start getting tired, and we know they can't substitute like they want to on the defensive line, especially, and that helps us because it just makes our job easier. How about you guys? I mean, are you feeling the fatigue, or is it, you know, is the adrenaline going? Hey, we're moving the ball. Is it? Yeah. Take that? After you get a couple first downs, the adrenaline gets pumping in, and you don't really think about it. What did you guys think? Bear beater in his press conference today. Is that a phrase that he's used around you guys? Is that a play or a package? Or no, he doesn't really use that much. Okay. Um, it's just that defense, the bear defense, and right. we have strategies to beat it. How much did you guys need? How much did the offensive line need a game like that? I mean, you guys, I'm sure, see things coming together in practice, and you guys are able to see it behind the scenes, but. To go out there and you know on, in a night game and 700 and some yards and 100 and some plays and 45 first downs, how much did you guys need that as a unit? Uh, we needed it a lot. You know, we've been getting a lot of criticism this year about how young we are and inexperienced, and just to see a game like that come together where we're putting yards, <coughs> we're getting yards in the air and on the ground. It's just adding to all our confidence that we already have. What's it like when you're in, in, in the midst of a game like that? Is it almost like it's, uh, you almost feel like you're unbeatable at that point? Yeah, you know, and we're getting so many first downs and the drives are just long and we're scoring a lot. You actually do feel a bit unbeatable. Yep. What's JT like in the huddle? He doesn't really huddle, but what's he, what's he like as far as his uh, he's He's turning into a great leader. He's Talk, he comes over to the offensive line after every series, tells us great job or just to keep going, and he keeps everybody on the team going. Does, he, give, does he tell you things he's seen out there? I mean, too sometimes. I mean, what what is he? What, what are the conversations like? Yeah, we talk about what everybody sees. You know, um, just how the front is, what they're doing. If we hear any calls they make, if he needs to be louder with his cadence or something. Yeah. We just talk about it, yeah. Are you ever, I don't know if amazed is the right word, but are you surprised by how much he does notice and the knowledge he has, I guess, as a Richard freshman? Oh, yeah. Especially, this is his first year actually playing, and I'm really amazed with how much he knows and everything going on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How big of a deal is communication this week? Uh, you're going on the road, first ever Big Ten home game for them, and I know, you know, it's just what is, what are you expecting and how big is communication? Yeah, it's going to be a big part of the game, um, especially with the offensive line. And uh, We know Maryland likes to shift their front a little bit, and we just have to talk and make sure everyone's on the same page, especially on third down because we know it's going to get loud there.